Hey friends, a um, bit of a funny video today, a bit of a maintenance kind of thing. I recently bought a guitar secondhand from a friend that had an issue I've never seen in a guitar before, so I thought I'd share it with you since I'm trying to fix it. And I've had experts look at it, which improved the problem, but I'm trying to actually fix it. Long story short, um, I broke a guitar string on stage on New Year's Eve in New Zealand. I didn't have a spare guitar there because I'd come from Australia just for that gig. And without even thinking, one of my great friends, King Carlos, um, had this guitar by the side of the stage. It wasn't painted then, obviously, because I paint my guitars. And he just handed it to me so I could finish the song and finish the concert without having to change a guitar string. In the process of that concert, I put quite a few scratches on it because of my hard playing style. So I ended up buying it off him, which I'm glad that I bought it because it's a beautiful instrument. But from day one, the B string, the second string on this guitar was almost inaudible. You almost couldn't hear the string. And it was so weird because you had the other string sounding fine and perfect. And this B string, you basically couldn't hear it. So I took it to a couple people and I just thought I'd share it with you because I have never heard of it in my lifetime or guitar playing career. So maybe this video will uh, resonate with someone who's having a similar problem. You at least know what's wrong. And I'm trying to fix it, but um, firstly, this video is starting halfway through the process because I got halfway through before I realized I might share it on YouTube. And secondly, I'm at a friend's house in Germany, so I don't have amplification to actually test if what I'm doing works. But at least I can pass on the knowledge that was passed to me by the expert repairman. That basically, the reason this B string, now I've taken out this piece of copper wiring from underneath the bridge. This is the bridge that came with the guitar. It's got a bit of paint on it because I painted the guitar. I happen to have a spare bridge here that I bought recently because I wanted to try and do this. The expert repairman, one of them was Ruben in Cairns and one of them was Matt in Sydney. They're my two favorite guitar repairers. Both agreed that the reason the B string wasn't sounding correctly was because this copper wire, which sits underneath, so I've taken it out from under strings, but it usually sits under, under there and then your bridge sits on top of it. And they basically said to me that if that connection between that copper wire and that bridge is not essentially perfect, you're gonna have sound problems. So that was the aha moment where we discovered what was actually wrong with the B string, was simply that at the section where this bit sits under, it wasn't sitting quite correctly. And I guess it's like slightly less. One of the, one of the suggestions was just to rotate it slightly. There's a slight bit of wear there on the copper, like, slightly less, but I can't see why it would be enough to to not kind of carry the electronic signal. Um, but what I'm actually going to do today, because I, I have in the past couple of weeks done basically what I'm doing today, just kind of arrange this. And both of those luthiers, Matt and Ruben, sanded this bridge piece to make it perfectly straight and flush. And it is quite, you can see it stands up straight. So does my replacement. So that doesn't seem to be the issue. So what I'm gonna basically do is try and rotate this. Um, definitely this would be better with the strings off, but I have a concert tonight. So I don't want to, I don't want to take the strings completely off because it takes at least a day for them to get in tune, more like two or three days. So I've just loosened the strings and um, I'm not known for being gentle with anything. So I'm pretty ham fisted about everything. I'm not really a technician either, so. Bad luck to you if you watch this video thinking I actually know what I'm talking about. But, um, I mean, that seems reasonable. It kind of lifts there, but the first string's fine. It's really just the B string that's always given me the problem. And I'm just going to try and get it, so... Hmm. I'm going to try and get it a little bit so that I maybe get some fresh copper under there, like, by twisting this a little bit. That, that advice was given to me. I usually don't go around twisting electronic things in my spare time. I mean, I usually leave things like this to the experts, but I'm on tour. I've got another guitar with me as well, so I can't do too much damage because I have a spare guitar ready to go tonight. And it's just a bit of experimentation. It's just, um, as I said, the purpose of this video is not me saying I know what I'm talking about. The purpose of this video is me saying something strange happened to my guitar that I've never seen before. So I'm putting it here on YouTube in case the next person that comes along having a similar problem can at least diagnose the problem of the failure of this bridge to connect with this copper wiring underneath. Okay, so that's now a new bridge. It's heaps higher than the old one. It's heaps higher. I wonder if that's actually gonna be playable. 
Look, I'm going to wrap the video up there and just say that's the diagnosis. If you've got one string not loud enough or maybe too loud as well, it's probably the connection between that copper and the bridge. And you can take it from there with more qualified experts. I am going to do some experimenting. This new bridge is really high and the other one's kind of low, so probably I want the middle range. But um, good luck if you're having that problem with your guitar and I hope you and I both have much better sounding instruments shortly.